Well, a thorny problem for this florist, the FAA grounding flower delivery express.com's delivery drones. Now, the company trying them out so it could use them for Valentine's Day, but the government breaking the company's heart saying they're unauthorized. Wesley Berry's the company's CEO. Wesley, I got to tell you, a lot of people talking about drones being the future. It just seems like you guys are trying to get out ahead of the curve here. Well, you know, sometimes uh, big things have small beginnings. And we, we were really trying to experiment, learn how to best operate the drones, and how we could best uh, incorporate them into our business model. So exactly what happened? Uh, did, you, did you do a few test runs and everyone called up the FAA? Or exactly how did this whole thing go down? Well, I, I'm not exactly sure about how the FAA got involved. I do know that uh, we did several test runs. Um, and uh, we crashed a few, we, we learned some lessons, uh, we were uh, starting to approach a learning curve that might be meaningful, we made a successful delivery, uh, and then we had intended on doing a, uh, a test on Valentine's Day to see what the delivery capacity of the drones actually would be. However, we got a phone call from the uh, Friendly Aviation Administration, and they told us that we needed to uh, cease and desist. Let's talk about the ones that crashed. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, I, you know, a lot of people say they don't want to live in a world where there's a bunch of drones hovering overhead. You, we do believe at some point this technology will be improved dramatically, never foolproof, but certainly yes. uh, improved to a large degree. But what happened when they crashed? Well, uh, drones do not meet cement block walls with, uh, with a great deal of, but, but, uh, of How did you control were, were, were they all controlled <laughs> with a, uh, did they have video cameras? I mean, obviously no one could walk along, the, you know, side by side with them. So right, right, right. what was the logistical right. problem there? Did anyone not see these brick walls? <laughs> well, that was just when we were trying to get things started up. There was a correlation issue that needed to be done with the navigation system that if you, if you interrupted that, that process, uh, it, would, it would not know where it really was. So, you know, we, we had some setbacks, but, you know, that's the whole point behind a, uh, a learning process or a beta program is you learn how to do things, uh, and that's what we were trying to accomplish. Uh, we certainly didn't expect for this to go uh, into uh, uh, wide circulation at this level, but we just needed to uh, experiment a little and, and, and learn and, and find out what's good and what's bad uh, in order to be able to uh, properly uh, execute uh, a drone uh, commissioning program, which we hope to do soon. When you hear that someone like an Amazon uh, would love to have a fleet of these and they're investing a whole lot of money, uh, do you think that because they're a giant company, maybe they'll get some sort of favorite status and uh, maybe some of the trial and error that you guys are being forced to go through, they'll be able to skip right past? Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I, I know that, uh, that, they, that they obviously are in a better position than we are uh, to be able to, to invest uh, both in technology and also in uh, uh, connections within the government uh, in terms of lobbying. So, um, you know, that is a little disheartening. Uh, however, uh, I'm confident that given the opportunity, we would be able to develop the same sort of techniques and same sort of technologies. And really, the, the, the FAA is really, uh, you know, getting a little bit in our way. You know, sometimes the answer isn't always found by government. Right. Does, they, government doesn't always solve the problems. Sometimes government makes the problems. I hear you. Well, it's good to hear that you're not going to give up, and uh, I'm sure you're going to get to where you have to be. Seems like you guys already made some big inroads. Hey, Wesley, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Thank you.